Hey there, this is Manisha. In today's SD series, we are talking about async or await in JavaScript. Async or await is a modern way to handle a synchronized code, making it easier to write, read, and understand. Let's dive into why async or await is game changer and look at a few examples to see it in action. But first, why do we need a synchronized call at all? In JavaScript, when we perform tasks like fetching data from an API or reading a file, they take time. If we waited for each task to finish before moving to the next, our app would freeze and become unresponsive for the user. A synchronized call allows these tasks to run in the background, letting the main code keep running smoothly. This keeps apps responsive and fast. Now let's look at a common problem in asynchronous programming callback hell. This is callback hell. We are calling get data, process data and save data one after another. But each callback makes the code messy and hard to follow. Promises improve this by flattering our code structure. But chaining multiple calls can still get tricky. This is cleaner than callback hell but it can still be hard to read especially with complex error handling. That's where async or await comes in. With async or await, we can write a synchronized code that looks and behaves a lot like synchronized code. Here, each asynchronized call to get data, process data and save data is handled one after another with await. It reads like synchronized code, but it's fully asynchronous. Imagine we are building an app that loads user data from an API and display it on a profile page. A sync or await makes this simple. Using await to fetch user data and pass the JSON response keeps the code clean and readable. We handle errors easily with try catch. A sync or await also shines when dealing with dependent API calls. Let's say we need to fetch user data first and then their orders based on the user ID. Each API call waits for previous one to complete, keeping everything in sequence without complex promise chains. If an error occurs, it caught by the try catch block. Async or await simplifies asynchronized programming by giving us readable synchronized like code. It's especially helpful when we have multiple asynchronized operations or need to handle errors in one place. Use async or await to make your asynchronized code cleaner, more readable and easier to maintain. Thanks for watching and happy coding with async or await.